What's going on guys? Today I wanna to talk about getting sales tax exemption on your Alibaba account. So let's be a quick one for you here, just gonna get right into it. But on Alibaba, what's happening now is that they started collecting sales tax on your orders. Now this is huge because if you know you have a $10,000 order and it's got 10% tax on it, it's another $1,000 that eats away in your margins where margins are so big in this part of the business. If you're a reseller, Amazon seller, Shopify seller, you are exempt from this, okay? So you're actually, you know, buying products to resell, wholesaling products, whatever it may be. So private label brand, you actually are exempt from this. You just need to register for it and make sure that tax comes off. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if I go to my account here and go to orders, we can take a look uh, to see what's going on here. So we see this order right here. If I hit view more and click this bad boy, go all the way down. We see we have an order of a total of $14,463 here and then tax. $1,460 right here. So this is 10% tax. Okay, so total amount due is around 16,000. Now this is massive, right? We don't wanna pay this. We don't want our margins to be that much thinner because that's gonna hurt us versus our competition. That's gonna hurt us when it comes to paying us out and we wanna have a profitable business, right? So we can actually file for an exemption here if we go all the way to the top, go to My Alibaba. So if we go to the left side here and go to orders and there's a button here called tax information. So we click this button. I know it's small, but it says tax information. You should be able to see this on your side. Now we see for US sales tax exemption, okay? So what we can do is it's pretty easy right here. I'll take you through this whole step-by-step -step process. So essentially it's their A-step program, US sales tax exempt program. Uh, so make sure you read through this here. Uh, make sure you know what you're agreeing to, of course, always read the terms uh, and then hit start my application. So now it wants to do is select state and exemption qualification, okay? So select the state territory where you hold tax exemption. So to do this wherever you're operating in, okay? So you get your business in Wyoming, but you're operating say in Tennessee, like me, then you're just, you're gonna put Tennessee here. So wherever you're operating at, wherever you're paying the real sales tax at, you're gonna wanna select that state. So for me, it's gonna be Tennessee. I click that. Now select the tax exemption type. Click that box right here, and we can see what's going on here. So we have a lot of different categories here, but most of us are gonna be in this resale category. Of course, if you're a nonprofit, library, all this good stuff, click your correct category here. But if you're selling on Amazon, doing private label, doing wholesaling, things like that, resale is where you're gonna to wanna to go right here. Hit continue. Now next, it's gonna ask us our business name, right? Our organization, industry, uh, business address, things like that. So Cameron James LLC, just a input here obviously this is my amazon business but organization industry here this is going to be so say you sell products in rainware okay so rainware products now you want to put as many things as you can here such if you sell across many categories put that in there as well uh you could be more broad with this too so say you sell uh kitchen items so you know kitchen items can go very fast there home and kitchen uh, things like that, right? If you sell bath supplies, then that fits into home and kitchen, right? So put yourself in here, whatever you think you're gonna branch out to, as well as what you're selling now, and try to be broad here. That way it covers everything here. Now we go to business address line, obviously put that in there. I'm not gonna share that information with you guys, but obviously you know your information there. This would be, if you're doing business and operating in your state, you can put your state address there uh, and then zip code and then authorize signer name. Uh, so then you're gonna go ahead Put your name right here and then hit continue here. So we see the next page here. So provide additional information required to generate the exemption forms. So just know that it goes a little different state by state. So if you see something a little differently, don't freak out. That's totally normal. Uh, so we see applies to Tennessee right here, right? So what's your exemption type from the following? Okay, so if you are resale, selling in Amazon, Shopify, selling in your store, your brick and mortar, resales, what you're gonna wanna do there. If you're buying parts because you're manufacturing things here in the US and you just need the parts from Alibaba, then you do industrial production or manufacturing. And then obviously just look to see if anything else applies to you if you don't fit in these two categories. So for me, it's resale. Uh, select the type of business would you perform from given options. Uh, so we are going to be in retail trade here. Obviously wholesale trade might work, but retail trade is what I'm gonna select here for that. So next, do you have a tenancy registration number? I actually don't in this case. Uh, so I'm gonna use the EIN, so my federal identification number is what I'm gonna use right here. If you do have a sales license in whatever state you're working in, I'd put that in, but for me, I'm gonna use my federal EIN essentially there. So select that and go down, and obviously I'm not gonna show you guys that, but I'll put my EIN number in there. So once there, I hit continue, and now it's gonna ask you to sign right here. So, you know, do your best here to, to do this. Mine, mine is always terrible, uh, but then hit continue, and then we see you know, you're, you're almost done here. 
and we see uh, state Tennessee exemption right here. And you can download this. I would just download it, put it in your files there. But once you're done here, hit submit. And we see activation succeeded. Our system will recognize you as a tax exempt buyer in 15 minutes. In the future, you'll not be charged sales tax and ordered shipped to the state's territory submitted. Boom, right there. So that's as easy as it looks right there. Don't be alarmed if it goes into pending status. That's totally normal. It usually gets done within 24, 48 hours. And you can check that under my account, Alibaba. So don't be alarmed that you didn't get automatically approved or anything like that. But this is how easy it is, guys. So if you guys want more how-to videos like this, Make sure you subscribe and check out my channel. I go deep into many subjects, whether Alibaba, uh, I have a video that's over 30 minutes long describing what to exactly look for on Alibaba. I'll make sure to link that here at the end, as well as every category you can possibly think of about Amazon and e-commerce. I've made a video on screen showing you exactly how to do these steps and everything like that. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe. Got any questions, put them in the comments and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.